Good morning. My name is Richard Cronice, and today we're going to learn how to learn SharePoint Foundation 2010. First of all, l allow me to introduce myself. My name is Richard Cronice. I am a business analyst, project manager, and SharePoint evangelist in Chicago, Illinois. You can find me on LinkedIn, and my current learning focus is passing the PMP and getting Microsoft SharePoint certified. So today we're going to learn how to learn SharePoint Foundation 2010. Really two major topics, learning resources and learning methods. You'll see how they're different. I thought this was really necessary. There's been a lot of nice people that have helped me learn SharePoint. Most of my learning has come on my own via the internet. I've only had one short class on it, so I thought it'd be nice to pay it forward and help people in learning SharePoint. First of all, uh, when it comes to learning resources, I definitely recommend that you build a SharePoint Foundation 2010 site on the cloud. You might use apps for rent. It's really hard to learn something if you don't have the software. If you work at a company and they have SharePoint, Foundation, Standard, or Enterprise, well then it's a whole lot easier. Someone's giving you the means to learn this. Um, it's not like Word, Excel, PowerPoint Access. It's not software, it's a service. So if your company doesn't provide it, and that was my case, I'm learning this on my own, I built my own SharePoint Foundation 2010 site. And I used a uh, cloud service called Apps for Rent. You might, have you, you might use someone else. So what does it look like? Just to go over here briefly. It looks like this. I could go into details, but the whole point is that for a whopping $8.95 a month, I have a uh, SharePoint site that I can play with. I can enter different things. And this is just, I won't demonstrate or go into it much further, but you can build your own SharePoint site. And that's obviously one way to learn. Returning to this, uh, another way to learn this is to just meet people who, who use SharePoint. And this is something that I really discovered later in my journey of learning SharePoint and I used meetup.com. Let's go to meetup.com just for a brief moment and take a look and see what's happening in the Chicago area. I've already done a search for SharePoint within 50 miles of Chicago, Illinois, USA and you can see that I could uh, join up or meet with the Elgin SharePoint users group, the Chicago Microsoft SharePoint users group, which I've done several times. There's even a Chicagoland SharePoint group and there's a share a pint social group where people meet out in the suburbs have a couple of glasses of beer and talk about SharePoint so this is a chance for you wherever you live to uh, use meetup to once again using meetup to do a search on SharePoint within your city to find out what's going on and to meet real people who are actually using uh, SharePoint. Returning back to this um, blogging I've certainly used blogs to learn a whole lot more and some of the really big names that come to mind big names to me certainly is Veronique Palmer I'll show you uh, her website Asif Ramani because Asif uh, builds SharePoint videos really nice stuff Mark Jones uh, runs Collaborus and he is a group leader for LinkedIn and I have a new friend uh, in South Africa South Africa named Miguel Dos Santos which writes some really nice blogs Ironically, I have two uh, friends in South Africa. I'm in the U.S., and uh, these folks um, is so far away. It's just amazing that we can be friends and carry on relationships. They have wonderful blogs. Let's take a quick look at that. You should really uh, find your own blogs to use. Here I'm uh, highlighting a few. You can see I keep this all in um, in iGoogle in my Google bookmarks. But just a brief moment, we'll take a look at. Um, this is actually uh, something from Veronique talking about top 10 business bloggers. She has a great blog and I'll make this larger for you so you can see it. She has a great blog and writes really well and, and writes at, at a level for beginners who are learning SharePoint, people who want to become beginners to power users. I believe she's an MVP uh, from Microsoft and she's just listing some other places that you can go to learn different things. Uh, I would definitely point out Meet Ducks, uh, Ducks Raymond Sai. He combines SharePoint with project management, does really incredible work. And check out all these other folks too. And once again, going back to blogging, uh, Veronique uh, Collaboris is uh, my friend Mark Jones, Miguel Dos Santos, a friend from South Africa, very literate, uh, 
you know, not quite technical, but very rich blogs and, and other folks uh, that you can meet. So blogging is a methodology for learning more and more. Um, I saved some of the more common things for later. Yes, certainly you can go to Amazon and find all the books in the world. And that's what I did. I, I went down that path and looked at various books, which ones would, would help me. And uh, I own about three, four, you know, Microsoft books, doesn't everyone? But uh, my favorite one for basic uh, SharePoint Foundation stuff is Microsoft's own book. And it looks like this. I'll go over to here. And uh, this is, uh, gosh, a whopping $16 if you, uh, if you buy it used. Whoops. If you buy it used, it's 278 It's a, a great little book. I know that SharePoint Foundation uh, 2013 is the new hot stuff. But for right now, I'm learning 2010. But the learning techniques that I'm describing for you uh, certainly would work for SharePoint 2013 also. Uh, there's certainly classroom training. You want to find a good uh, uh, vendor if you can. I use Microtrain in Chicago, Illinois, USA. They've done really well for me. I'm very appreciative of going to their classes. And now I'm at a point where I actually have to learn more and more. I have books, but I really like to see it, see it when it's done. And for this, I use uh, SharePointVideos.com by Asif Ramani. And you can find that he's uh, certainly on the website. He has a bunch of free videos, so you could look at his free videos to see what they're like. And if you register for, uh, you know, $19.95 a month, you can study his videos. And believe me, I study them every single day. These are, uh, you know, just samples of some of his videos. Um, I believe his walkthrough of SharePoint 2013, I believe I looked at that. And it was just terrific. So you definitely want to use uh, a C. Fermani's website for free or for the $19.95 a month. There certainly is lynda.com. You'll find a lot of people speaking about it on the internet. Uh, it's a wonderful learning source. I would only say that it's, it's slightly more money, but it doesn't focus totally on SharePoint. It's SharePoint and other things. So if you want to learn SharePoint and MS Project or SharePoint and Excel or things of that nature, then you definitely want to go to uh, Linda and go to lynda.com and uh, you know try their free videos they have uh, you can try them for free you can see it up here where it says free trial or uh, actually plunk down your money and to use that so that's another another wonderful learning source so uh, obviously you know about YouTube videos that's how you found this uh, it's a wonderful way to uh, wander the world of SharePoint and find different videos and different ideas. I've used this. Uh, I found people who were doing SharePoint videos, and I sought to link up with them, and that was great. And that brings me perhaps to one of my favorite uh, learning resources, which is LinkedIn groups. If you're not using LinkedIn, if you want to learn SharePoint, you really have to join LinkedIn and start working it. Um, an example of how this is useful over here. These are some of the groups that I belong to. You will go through LinkedIn, you'll go through groups and your groups and and um, you'll, you'll find discussions. For example, I, I belong to at least uh, four or five groups, SharePoint experts, users groups, and so, so on. And uh, just to dip into SharePoint experts for a brief moment, waiting for it to load, you can see different discussions going on. Someone micros, uh, wondering about Microsoft certifications, um, someone want to know about best practices you know how to open a PDF in a new browser window questions that people have and, and when you find a question from someone um, I'll show you a little technique and that is that when you find a question from someone I don't know this individual but you can actually um, use more over here and you can say reply privately and you can send them a message and ask them a question and sometimes respond it's a great way to meet people uh, if you're using the free version of LinkedIn and so even though you don't have an email you can comment on what they're saying send them a message I think it's a, a great idea and you should consider using it LinkedIn groups is just wonderful it's critical that you use it and stay in contact with the people that you've met so um, those were learning resources I have methods also and for learning methods uh, definitely you need to build your practice SharePoint sites once again, if you work for an employer and they give you SharePoint Foundation standard or server, then that's that's not a problem. You're already in that environment. But if you don't have that, if you're self-employed as I am, you have to build your own. So I did. 
Uh, another great uh, learning method is building your own SharePoint acronym list. I've used this for years, over a decade, maybe two decades. And what that means is, you know, when I join a new business or I'm learning something new, I do SharePoint, uh, I do an acronym list. And uh, over here, you can see I have the different names, actionable data, authentication methodology. I may not have an answer for it, but I certainly have it there. And yes, you're saying I actually put in names of people. This is someone who's been very helpful to me, Ross Giasi on uh, LinkedIn. So uh, you find all my notes. It goes on and on. How many pages do I have? So far down here, I have nine pages worth of uh, acronyms. It's a great way to keep track of new words. Whenever someone mentions something, keep track of it, ask them what it means, or research it later on at your own leisure. So also use training outlines. That's another learning method. You can see I'm pretty much an outline kind of guy. I don't find that uh, PowerPoint helps me that much. I can use PowerPoint for presentations, but learning outlines, uh, you know, with Roman numerals, this is a gift someone gave me uh, several Christmases ago, maybe 10 years ago, and I use outlines all the time. Another way to uh, a learning method is teach someone SharePoint for free. Um, this is from my friend Pragna. If she actually ever uh, visits this video, uh, Pragna, I would love to teach you SharePoint for free if you wish. So uh, if you can teach it to someone, you've certainly learned it. So those are uh, different learning methods. So what I've tried to do in all this is talk about you know, how do you actually learn something? And learning SharePoint Foundation will not be the easiest thing you've ever done. And how you learn it depends on whether you are in an environment that actually has it or whether you have to build it on your own. But very clearly, you have learning resources and you have learning methods. So those are various choices for you. And going down to this, closing up a bit, I want to thank you for visiting Dad's learning videos today. I hope you had fun. I hope it was educational. There's been a lot of people who've helped me uh, learn SharePoint, and I wanted to return the favor to the different people who are looking to learn SharePoint also. The advice I've given you is for learning uh, my methodology for learning SharePoint Foundation 2010. You could certainly use this for learning you know, uh, uh, SharePoint uh, s Standard or SharePoint Enterprise, and you could apply the same technique for learning you know, SharePoint Foundation 2013, or for that matter, you know, MS Project 2010 or 2013. It's just a learning methodology. So as you can tell, I've done my share of training. I've taught about 10,000 people in my life, most of them in person, and now I have fun on YouTube doing this. My name is Richard Cronice. It is a unique name, and I hope uh, a unique brand. I am the only Richard Cronice in the United States or anywhere. And I welcome your inquiries. If you do a search on LinkedIn, I'm pretty easy to find. Just put in Richard Cronice and you'll find me. So thanks a lot for visiting. I hope you had a great day um, and hope you enjoyed this. Please leave a comment if you would. Uh, give me your advice on what else I might teach you or give me your constructive criticisms. Thanks a bunch for visiting. Uh, best wishes from Chicago, Illinois, USA.